Hi, this is Nate from GamesKeys.net. In this video, I'll be sharing the story of the Somerville game. Please consider subscribing to our channel. All right, let's dive right in. Our game begins with a cutscene of a highway where a family is returning home in a car. Upon reaching home, they start watching TV. While they fall asleep, a toddler wakes up and interacts with various things. Moving around furniture, the child goes toward a door that is being heavily knocked on. The child picks up a toy fox torch and heads to the kitchen. Inside the kitchen, he gazes at the window where purple light is flickering and makes his way to climb onto a shelf. Then the child opens the window to look outside. As soon as the window is open, the child falls into a dustbin and the parents wake up. The mother takes the child to bathe while the father takes the dog to feed it in the basement. Suddenly there's a flash of light and sounds like a thunderstorm can be heard prompting the family to go outside and check. Outside, they witness a scene that resembles a battlefield. The sky is filled with missiles and shooting projectiles, and flying jets are engaged in waging war. An obelisk vessel has fallen in their courtyard, shining brightly. The family rushes toward the car to leave immediately, but a pillar collapses onto their car. They head toward the basement for safety. A humanoid figure in a blue spacesuit falls into their basement and the father shakes hands with him. The stranger transfers blue energy into the father's arm and then disappears. The child's father collapses to the ground. The man becomes lifeless and his wife and child cry over his unconscious body. After some time, he regains consciousness and his wife and child are gone from there. Only his dog, his loyal companion, remains with him. The man stands up and feels intense pain. After some moments, he realizes that the stranger had given him a gift in the form of useful energy. He can use this energy to melt the scattered solid alien blocks in the house. When he steps outside, he sees that everything has been destroyed, and it seems like a significant amount of time has passed since the incident. Upon exiting the outer door, he sees a small orb that flashes patterns of red and purple. He then realizes that the orb can also melt alien objects. As he begins his journey to find his family, he encounters more and more orb creatures that get pulled toward him and act as protection for him. When he ventures further away from the farmland into the jungles, a dangerous pinkish light shines brightly in the distance, and an alien glowing in red light watches him from behind a tree. When the pinkish light searches for him, he runs quickly for shelter and hides in a small tent. Once the dangerous light passes, he moves forward. With the help of his blue arm, the man navigates through the ruins of a plane. He finds a small boat, stealthily hides behind it, and crosses the water slowly so that the alien searchlight doesn't spot him. When he reaches the other side, he retrieves a bucket from a well and uses the alien liquid to attract the orbs toward a cave. Inside the cave, there are paintings on the wall showing a person standing in three blue circles, and below, aliens capturing humans. The man spots a figure behind a door. He follows it, but finds nobody. The man walks onto a highway jammed with cars, unaware that someone is watching him from a distance. He reaches an abandoned refugee camp. There, he sees signs of human life, spotting a moving car, but the pink light traces him again. When he escapes from the searchlight of the alien ship, he uses electricity and his blue arm to navigate the area. While traversing the area and avoiding the pinkish light, he encounters alien robo-dogs with red searchlights roaming around. These dogs are quite skilled at eliminating humans who cross their path. After exiting the area, he rescues the orbs. Then he uses his powers to climb onto a festival stage, from which he unlocks a UFO. He then uses this UFO as a shield to protect him from the robo-dogs while melting the blocks. However, when the electricity to the shield is disconnected, a robo-dog starts chasing him. He falls, but then a red humanoid who had been following him saves him. Continuing, he reaches a heavy cell. The red humanoid also arrives and helps him open the cell bars. While trying to save the man from falling off a bridge, they both fall. The red humanoid transfers its red energy into the man and then disappears. The red energy turns the alien liquid into a solid form while the blue energy turns solids into liquid. Using both of these energies, the man navigates through caves and underground water pools, passing through various sections while avoiding drowning. After walking for a while and realizing he's not alone, 
The robo dogs are also monitoring the area. He tries to sneak out from there. Using ladders, he climbs to the upper parts of the caves. Using a cart, he breaks through the wooden obstacles and dives into the underground pool. While swimming, he crosses the water. Upon emerging, he uses a machine to create a path ahead. Advancing further, he melts metal using the blue energy to make a path upwards. He crawls through a tunnel and falls into a hall. There, he turns on the lights using a lever from the transformer, and then he pulls another lever to open a shutter and pushes out a coal cart. While creating a path for the cart, he walks alongside it. Then, hiding behind the cart, he moves forward to escape from the robo-dogs. He turns one robo-dog into a statue and thinks he has escaped their grasp. However, one robo-dog escapes from the mines and chases him. Feeling helpless, he jumps into a waterfall. To save himself, he clings to a floating wooden branch and drifts to a bank where he reunites with his dog, who barks upon seeing him. After walking for a while, the man falls and the dog barks for help. The man regains consciousness and finds himself in an underground room with his dog, realizing his powers are gone. Exiting the room, he sees some people who seem relieved to have found safety at their respective spots, but are somewhat sad as well. Surprisingly, his wife and son are also in this underground shelter, and when they find out that their beloved is alive and well, they embrace him. Then, the family looks for a way out of the shelter. The man's health deteriorates, and he sits down. His wife gives him medicine, and they continue forward. Afterward, the mother and son search for a toy fox, which was present at the beginning of the game, and rejuvenate his powers. Using this power, they clear the path and open a heavy door. Holding his wife's hand, he transfers his power to his son, who holds the toy. They create a path forward through a wrecked bus. Navigating through a street, they reach a clothing store where a robo-dog, which has been trailing them through the city, spots them from the store's roof. As they exit the store, the robo-dogs start attacking and chasing them. After narrowly escaping, the family runs toward a church and reaches the main gate. Just when they feel like all hope is lost, a hero in a purple suit arrives to rescue them. The purple hero unlocks the main gate, and the family rushes inside while he stays back to fight the robo-dogs. Despite the hero's efforts, the robo-dogs manage to enter and break the door leading to the staircase. The family escapes up the spiral staircase, but upon reaching the top, there's nowhere left to go. Just then, a searchlight projectile appears and launches a missile at them. A spaceship arrives, and the man and the purple hero manage to board it, but his family is left behind. His wife resigns herself to her fate when their child and dog fall completely under the control of the robo-dogs. The spaceship takes the man to an underwater facility where some people watch his details on a big screen. He is placed in a blue pod, reminiscent of the blue stranger from earlier. Exiting the pod, he undergoes tests to use his blue and red energies while the people there monitor his performance. After passing the tests, the purple hero joins him and they combine their energies. But was all of this just a bad dream? The man wakes up on a couch with his family and goes to feed his dog again. He hears a loud noise again, but this time it's due to fireworks celebrating an event, not an alien invasion. However, this isn't real. His family loses vision, and the blue stranger is found in the basement. This time, however, they transfer the vision of the obelisk from the opening. He opens a glowing portal where he finds a pod, but a pink light stops him, and he's thrown into the water. This scene is also reminiscent of before, but this time the red savior transfers a vision of red, blue, and purple energies. Afterward, the man opens another portal where he sees static models of his family sitting on the sofa. Feeling disheartened by his fate, he believes he can no longer remain in this simulated reality. He proceeds to use his powers to dismantle the alien-made Matrix-like situation. He spots another containment pod, which he opens, but this pink light transports him to another simulation. Here once more, he contemplates resignation out of sheer disappointment. Nevertheless, he navigates through the simulation and reaches a portal, where he opens another pod, revealing a young boy. Pink Light appears once more, transporting him to an island where a spaceship stands. He witnesses a meeting of three energy holders. Then the purple energy savior transfers its energy to the man through a handshake. Subsequently, the simulation pod is destroyed. Harnessing these three energies, the man proceeds to dismantle several simulations and liberate trapped individuals. Subsequently, the pink light transports him before towering alien entities comprised of blue, red, and purple hues communicating with him through rapid flashes. 
Standing before the alien trio while holding hands with others, he emits an energy pulse to engage with these colossal entities. Now he faces decisions on how to conclude this simulation. In this scenario, we choose the War of the Worlds option. Fueled by the despair of living without his family and intense anger against the invaders, he seeks revenge. Utilizing the purple energy, he manages to destroy the alien entities, causing the obelisk jets to plummet from the sky. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the world of Somerville. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting stories and game analysis. Until next time, take care and keep on gaming.